Happy New Year's Eve, damn it. Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and we're at the very tail end of one dumpster fire of a year. You know, I thought 2020 was bad, but I'll tell you what, 2021 rolled up and was like, hold my beer, I got this. <laughs> and it was all downhill, from beginning to end, a complete train wreck. Now, to, well, to be perfectly fair, I mean, there's some very horrific things that happened to the general public this year, and also for me in my personal life, but honestly, there was a lot of good stuff too, so I am thankful for that, and I hope you are as well, as much as we like to you know, try and make light of this stuff. But what can you do when you've got like a train wreck of a year? Like just have a little fun with the sad reality of it and laugh a bit. It's okay. It's okay to poke some fun here, but we are at the tail end of it. And I'll tell you this, as, uh, as far as it pertains to XRP specifically, XRP in 2021 did a lot better than what a lot of people thought it was going to do. Because how many said that XRP would be out of the top, XRP would be out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies uh, in the beginning part of this year? How many thought it would have been at zero by now, given that the SEC was going after Ripple claiming that XRP is an unregistered security of that company? Uh, and in fact, as I'll show you, XRP substantially outperformed Bitcoin. So how about that, you Bitcoin max? These little freaking trolls out there eating your room temperature cottage cheese. Bitcoin, ripple scam coin zero. Mr. Mr. Bitcoin maxi troll, I would like if you could just waddle back off to your bridge, stay warm next to your dumpster fire. I would prefer that. I don't enjoy being around you, you know? Uh, Bitcoin maxi trolls, what a bunch of unsophisticated, knuckle-dragging, mouth-breathing troglodytes with cashew-sized brains, you know? They need help getting their shirts on in the morning, and they wear Velcro shoes. Like, that's what the hell's going on with that. So, anyway, I just want to share with you some stuff. It's like a fun little send-off video, nothing t t terribly, um, you know, in-depth or, or heavy this evening. I just, I wanted to make sure I, I took some time to, to just express my appreciation for all the sport throughout the year. Um, the XRP community has been absolutely incredible. I just, I, maybe I don't say it enough. I hope you guys know it though. Like I, I, I could not be more grateful and I'll never take the support for granted, but, um, I do want to be clear. I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos all up on the YouTubes about crypto related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this, XRP is at 83 cents, Bitcoin's at $46,398.70, market cap for the asset class $2.24 trillion, and Bitcoin dominance at 39.02%. So what do you know? Some more chops, some more mostly sideways stuff. For, for most of the day though, it's it's been down. In fact, uh, for much of the day, more than this, like more like five or 6% down at the time I'm recording this XRP down 1.26% in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin 1.48%. So it doesn't look terribly horrific. And if you ask the little lemmings out there, yes, the lovable, cuddly little typical retail speculators out there, they'll tell you they're fearful, but a little less fearful than yesterday. This is the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, and they're at 28 out of 100 yesterday. So that's fear. Yesterday, they were in extreme fear, though, at 22 out of 100. So um, let's take a moment to just, you know, feel good about what has happened for XRP. And mind you, like, these numbers, they're even more impressive considering, like, XRP hasn't even hit its all-time high from the last market cycle yet. It hasn't entered price discovery, which, as far as I'm concerned, it's inevitable. You need nothing set in stone. You can't know for sure. I am highly confident at some unknown point in the future, this is going to happen. But even without having reached that point, uh, the numbers are what they are. And so here on your screen now is a percentage increase calculator. It's, uh, you know, for people that don't math good. You know what I mean? I don't math good. So what I'm going to do here is punch in the initial value of XRP one year ago, which would be December 31st last year, 2020. And I checked before recording. It got down to 20 cents. Okay. So that's the initial value. Then I input the final value, which at the time of recording, this is 83, uh, 83 cents. And there you go. Compared to one year ago today, XRP is up 315%. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it wasn't supposed to exist anymore. Well, what do you know? Isn't that strange? <laughs> Can you? And look, this is with a suppressed price. But XRP provably is moving in tandem with the rest of the market. Like, doesn't that to some degree make you feel good? XRP one year goes 20 freaking cents and it's 83 cents now. You know? And I get it. It's not the moon. It's not the Lambo. Not yet. But uh, isn't this good news? We're not done with the freaking rally yet. Like, did, who out there, raise your hand if you actually believe that the highest price that XRP will ever have already happened when it hit its last all-time high, January 4th, 2018. Does, does anybody out there actually, that was it, will never see better in the history of this asset? 
The rest of the asset class will keep going into tens of trillions, maybe hundreds of trillions on the whole. But XRP, no, the best days they've already occurred. Does anybody believe that when it's one of the only cryptocurrencies functionally being used for anything? Don't you think eventually money follows, uh, you know, the or, or price follows that where the value is? I personally do. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, I checked that as well before recording. So let me clear out the fields here. Uh, Bitcoin was actually as low as $28,000 that day. Whoops, hit $208,000. And it is currently, what did I say it was? It's now $46,397. And so there you go. It's, oh, a whopping 65% increase from a year ago. XRP up 315%, Bitcoin up 65%. So look, I'm just saying, if you're going to play in the world of large cap coins because there's a bit more safety and certainty, relatively speaking, in that world, that's why I'm most interested. It's one of the reasons I'm most interested in XRP, actually. Because I, like, honestly, like, the uncertainty of small cap coins... <laughs> it, it, it provides little interest for me. I'm just saying, I, I do have some, like, uh, I don't know if it's two or three, something like that. Uh, just a little baby boo bit of money I put in. But those are more scary because they haven't been tested. They don't have a track record. Is there a bug in the code? Is it all just going to go away? Is there going to be a rug pull? Stuff like that. But if you want to play in the, the world of large cap, which frankly, there's not much money in any large cap coin right now. Not really. Uh, it's, it still provides an opportunity for symmetrical, asymmetrical returns relative to pretty much any other asset on the planet. So to me, that's that's always been the play. I, I want this is the risk reward blend that I've been interested. So there you go, Bitcoin. And I hold Bitcoin. Then this is not me uh, just trying to crap all over Bitcoin. I like Bitcoin. I'm just pointing out uh, this is the king coin. XRP beat it. I don't mind seeing that one little baby boobit. And uh, XRP got man. Like, crapped on all year. No, no, don't mind you. Fine. It's been fantastic to see that most of the court stuff before the trial starting here, it seems that almost all of it has leaned heavily in Ripple's favor and holders of XRP's favor, especially with John Deaton getting to represent over 60,000 XRP holders. So, like, lots of reasons to be thankful here. But there's a lot of bad stuff, too. Remember when Grayscale, well, obviously all the, pretty much every cryptocurrency exchange in the, in the United States halted or delisted XRP. Not all of them, there are three that remain. Uh, but, but there's also this, institutional money got out of, of XRP. Look at this headline from the Daily Huddle. Crypto giant Grayscale details top altcoins held by institutional investors as 2022 begins. And it's just disappointing we don't see XRP on the list because it was sold just over a year ago. It was somewhere in the neighborhood of like, if memory serves, January 10th or 12th or something like that. And they had to sell all of it. And I blame the SEC, not Grayscale. But, but what do you think is going to happen? Like all the institutional money that got out of XRP, what do you think is going to happen when the green light happens? W once there's settlement or full adjudication and, and, and XRP is in the clear, do you think that the institutional money is not going to get back into XRP? One of the largest cryptocurrencies on the planet that's been around for almost a decade. You imagine what happens when that much money pours into this son of a gun. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Um, I also wanted to highlight this because whatever you think of Michael Saylor, founder and CEO of MicroStrategy, uh, this guy has conviction, okay? Like, I got to respect that, to be honest with you. Look at this headline. MicroStrategy gobbles up another $94,200,000 worth of Bitcoin as crypto markets move sideways. This is, this is insane. Check this out. I got something to say about this. Check this out. MicroStrategy is placing yet... Another bet on Bitcoin, even as the leading cryptocurrency continues an apparent market downtrend. MicroStrategy Chief Executive Michael Saylor tells his 2 million Twitter followers that the enterprise analytics firm purchased another 1,914 Bitcoin for approximately $94.2 million in cash at an average price of about $49,229 per Bitcoin. The latest haul brings the firm's total Bitcoin holdings, <coughs> excuse me, to about 124,391 Bitcoin purchased for a total of about $3.75 billion. <laughs> Folks, that's staggering. That's insanity. Each Bitcoin was purchased for an average price of about $30,159. So look, somebody else crunched some numbers and admittedly I didn't check it, but I saw like a couple people with similar calculations on Twitter. So it probably is about right. But uh, the, a couple of individuals, they calculated that <laughs> Michael Saylor's company, MicroStrategy, they now hold over half a percent of all Bitcoin in existence. Over one, it's like, I think it was, they said, uh, MicroStrategy owns one out of every 170 Bitcoins <laughs> in existence. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, that's the ratio. That's insane. So look, 
Um, here's how this is going to go down. If, if Bitcoin's not going to have long-term viability, this is going to be... Look, this is going to go down in the history books either way, what they're doing here. If it doesn't go well, uh, my gosh, I, I, you can imagine that history, what history, how history will report on this. Uh, oh, because everything seems obvious in hindsight, too. Of course it wasn't going to work. Oh, it was the first, this or that. Um, and I'm not convinced it's going to go away necessarily. It might. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just being honest with you. I, I'm, I'm long Bitcoin. I hold Bitcoin, but we'll see. I just think there's a bunch of question marks that I've been talking about for a long time. But uh, I'll tell you this. If he's right, if this guy's freaking right, and Bitcoin really is around forever, uh, like he, he and Mike, so he'll be like the, probably the, like the wealthiest person on the entire planet. And MicroStrategy will be pr like probably the wealthiest company on the entire planet. I mean, you would have to be because the, the degree to which Bitcoin's going to increase in price if it stays around, can you imagine another decade from now, 15, 20 years? Because their plan is to never sell. So what could rival this? <laughs> well, honestly, actually Ripple could. Ripple actually could. Um, and it depends. I don't know for sure what's going to happen with Ripple's escrowed XRP holdings. Who knows? There's some question marks there. Even Brad Garlinghouse has said that there's a possibility that uh, they wouldn't necessarily need all the escrowed XRP. So there's some question marks there. But with how much they hold, and uh, given where XRPs are now, how illiquid it is in terms of the multiplier effect opportunity from where it is now, Ripple could be worth substantially more than MicroStrategy, even if Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy are right. So it's it's going to be crazy to fast forward, like whether it's five years or 10 years and see how this all unfolds. But whichever companies are doing this right, those will be the most wealthy companies on the entire planet. This is this is where the opportunity over the next decade, as far as I'm concerned, crypto, despite massive pullbacks, which I think are inevitable, I think there will be massive crashes of over 80, 90 percent. That's my expectation. Despite those, I still believe it will present the most opportunity for investing over the next decade. And I've been saying that ever since I started this channel a little over three years ago because nothing nothing's changed. That, that, so that would not in that regard. So I would still bet that. It's freaking crazy. And here's a visualization, by the way. So this is Willie Wu. He does on-chain analytics. And he shared the following with his 948,000 followers. He wrote, this is Michael Saylor's stacking of stats visualized in case anyone wants to uh, something to aspire to for 2022. Best wishes for the new year, he wrote. And so here you can see that he got the price action of Bitcoin visualized. And each one of these steps up, that's where some Bitcoin is purchased. Uh, so again, yucky, whatever you think of the guy, like you got to admire the conviction here. So, I mean, this is a heavy, heavy bet. Like, <laughs> so that's that's something. It, it, it is what it is. So uh, anyway, I, I, as far as as far as XRP goes, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's a win. And just wait, because XRP is suppressed. You wait till next year when there's fine out because we're going to get fine out. You guys realize that. Like, I'm going to talk more on that probably in my next video. But finality is coming. Um, so anyway, I, I, again, thank you so much all for the support. It's, it's been mostly a very fun year. Well, as far as running the channel, that's been 100% uh, fun other than the anger, uh, you know, towards the ass hattery at the SEC. But other than that, and every time I think of freaking Kim Jong Gary and that ass hat Clayton, other than that, it's fantastic. Cause when I think of them, like it really burns my biscuits folks, but, um, I hope you all have a fantastic end to 2021. Um, I've got a couple more things to put out before I wrap up the year on YouTube here for myself. But again, thank you very much for the support. You all are fantastic. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon Lambo.